Okay, so about the uh, graphic card being a ton on PC Express, I think it has something to do with that card. I didn't have put, I didn't put that card in. And according to the module menu, you gotta put that card in to enable it to be 16 time. So we'll see. And now we're going to get into the BIOS and then we're going to enable ACC and to have the force port enable. I'm not sure what the option is. Are you here? No. Nope. Nope. How do you CPU configuration? Yep. Advanced Cloud Collaboration. Enable it to automatic. And now we will see. Okay, everything stayed the same. It is still a Phenom 2 X3 720 tripod processor. And now, after it enabled the fourth core, it recognizes Phenom 2 X420 processor. So, that's all four cores enabled. It's working at 3.4 GHz, same as before. And the uh, memory timing and everything stays the same way as it was before. It's at 1066. Alright, and also, still the same motherboard, everything stays the same. And that card thing, that stuff, is used to enable one PCI Express to run it 16 times, so if you have the same motherboard, that's a little tip for you. Remember to plug the card in. Alright, so now we run Cinnamon Bench 9.5. running at L4 cores. Very, very awesome. Let's see, 12 seconds. And score, 1759. Okay, Cinnamon so Bench 10. Multi CPU. Okay, crash on me. So, uh, that's one of those things about enable the fourth core. I mean, they disable the fourth core for a reason. And stuff that this will probably... Okay, certain bench 10 doesn't want to run, so we jump into the next benchmark. Everest. Version 5 beta. Benchmarks. Okay, let's look at the results. This is a, uh, this is where you can see the CPU. Okay, there you go. It's a quad core 3.4 gigahertz. Um, the whole memory bit stayed the same way since the other one that's overclocked. Alright, the CPU queen. You can see uh, obvious performance increase. After showing you this proof, I'm going to uh, do a little recap on the scores so you can easily see the comparison.
Okay, first of all, excuse me for my appearance. This is my t-shirt. Uh, long hair, a hard day, doesn't mix. Anyway, to unco uh, unlock the fourth core on AMD uh, Phenom 2 processors, or uh, a dual core, uh, it is this uh, dual core, or if it's tri-core, it's got its benefits in terms of performance. It's really, really fast if you do have the fourth core unlocked, but they did disable it for a reason. Something doesn't run right with the fourth core. So as you can see earlier, the center bench won't run, and it doesn't detect any temperature. I don't know if there's more tweaking involved to get it work properly, but then uh, as far as I can see, there are some issues, but then uh, some of the softwares are running normally, so it really depends on what you're running. So then, uh, just a little something that you have to get a perspective that uh, you do bought a uh, tricore processor, not a quad core. The price that is set is for tricore. So, you do get a fourth core unlocked, great. If you do get the stuff to run properly, awesome. But, just uh, be uh, expected that there might be something that just don't want to work right. It will give you a lot of issues running Windows. It will give you, uh, it will hang your system, it will crash, or uh, various other things. You might lose the data. So that's something you have to be prepared um, before you unlock the port core. So that's that. Um, thanks for watching, and of course there's more videos to come.